Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl K Simone and y'all. I am so sorry I have not been posting on a regular day basis like I used to, but y'all, I am back and I'm better. Now, I'm so happy to be filming this look for you guys because I posted a little one second clip of my all pink makeup look and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So for that reason, this is why I'm filming. Um, it is currently 6.20 p.m. So um, I did kind of do it a little late, but for you guys, anything. So y'all already know, I've already did my brows and I've already um, primed, prepped and primed my skin and my face. Before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my video, and turn on your post notifications for, do for uh, daily uploads. So, let's just get into this video. So, y'all already know, for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Fash Cosmetics palette, and that is the one with all the 120 different colors. So, I'm only going to be using this side of my palette. All these pink colors is what I'm going to be using today. So... Let's just get into it. So, y'all already know I got my little handheld mirror. Handheld mirror. Dang, I just can't talk today. And I only created that look with three brushes, but I do have multiple ones because I like to switch between them. So, we're gonna go in with my brush from Real Technique. Uh, sorry, not Real Techniques. This is an Amazon brush. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and start you guys so i'm gonna be taking these lighter colors right here this one right here and this is basically gonna be my um i guess you can call it sort of kind of like a transitional color i guess and i'm just gonna start out like literally y'all right here on the edges gonna be taking that color again and um it's gonna be applying some more like I say it does look a little pink a little purple and it might be because of the brush but you guys I have a bad habit of not cleaning my brushes but that's my fault so I'm gonna go back in gonna go back in with a little more pink and I'm gonna do the same thing to my other eye um, I want to go ahead and apologize before time about the lighting. You guys, like I said, it is 620, so the lighting will be going in and out of this makeup tutorial. But as long as you get the makeup tutorial that I promise you guys, I haven't bought any more new YouTube equipment. So, like I said, as long as you get what you wanted to watch then it's fine by me and hopefully it's fine by you guys so what i'm going to be doing is i'm basically going to be taking that color and basically like basically trying to push it to the front at least as you guys can see it's coming along like right here um and do the same over here i like to do both eyes at once because i don't like to wait until the end to do both eyes um let me go ahead and say, if you feel like my video is too long, you can go ahead and excuse yourself. But remember to subscribe. So with that being said, we're going to go in with a little bit more darker pink. And we're going to go in with this pink right here. And we're basically going to be going over the same pink I just went down, but a little bit... You know, we're going to bring it out a little bit more. Um, I'm just going to keep going back in and just following the same pattern that you would do on this eye, do on to this eye. So... Like I said, you guys, um, this is a all pink eyeshadow look. So the eyeshadow, well, the whole face, really, whole full face, 
like I said, if you guys wanted to go revisit my clip for my last little video I did post it, you guys will see that the clip is up there for you guys to watch. So now that that pink is up there, I'm going to be going in with kind of a darker pink. So we're going to go in with this pink right here to kind of spice it up a little bit. This pink right here. Because as you guys could see in the video, it was a little darker. So we're going to go in with this pink and just basically go over. I'm going to be taking my other brush that I got from uh, Sephora, I believe. I've had this for so long that I don't even know the name of it. But this is the brush I got from Sephora. And I don't know the name of it because it literally rubbed off. That's how long I've had it. So we're going to go back in with the same pink and tap the excess off. And we're just going to darken, darken that color up. Now I know you guys might be like, oh my God, that's too much pink. But once I put my cut crease on and do my liner and all the extra stuff, you guys will see how the picture came out because I thought it was really pretty. So... Hopefully you guys like it and you enjoy it as much as I did. So now with the same pink, I'm going to go back in to this eye. I'm just going to darken that up as well. You guys, I want to go ahead and apologize for any background noise that you do hear because I do have neighbors upstairs that are pretty 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 loud so yeah so now with that pink we're gonna go in with the more darker pink which is this baby right here and this one I like to really go ham with because it's a darker pink like I said I like to get as much as I can on the brush, tap a little excess off, not a lot, but just a little bit. And I literally go in with this pink. Like, as you could tell, I'm going to do this eye. Gonna go back in with this pink. You guys, I have been like playing in eyeshadow for so long that it doesn't really bother me how it looks when it goes on. What really catches my eye about makeup is how it looks after you put it on. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, it has to look like something after you put it on. So now that I'm done with that pink, I'm going to mix these two, this one next to it, and this one next to it together, along with this little bit of purple up here. So I, I can pretty much tell, I can pretty much tell from the way that I'm doing it is that my right eye always have more what's the terminology I'm trying to use more shadow than the left so that's what really kills me about it you guys so now that um we basically have our pink we're just going to blend it out because you don't necessarily want to leave it like this. So we're going to go ahead and take the um, excess off that's left on this. And I'm just going to go through and just blend everything out because I already got all the pink that I, the eyeshadow that I want on my eye. Like I said, you guys, this wasn't a very detailed makeup look. Well, my eyes really were, but as far as like the glitter and stuff... My eyes was kind of quick. It wasn't really something that I took long on. I, you know, I played around with. It was just kind of quick, bam, bam, bam. But I took my time with it. But 
um when i put the photo up for you guys on youtube that was just a quick little view to see you know if you guys liked it or not and that took me a long time to master so now that i actually know what i was going to feel for you guys it was easier for me to do it so I know you guys like, oh my God, she look crazy right now. I know, girl, because I feel like I look crazy right now. But that's okay because in Kayla world, we like to fix all of that. So right now what I'm doing is taking a little bit of my concealer and just going over. Because I don't want my eyeshadow to be all over my eyebrow like that. So I took a little concealer and... um basically kind of remove some of that found um not foundation sorry some of the eyeshadow and as you can see i moved it down a little bit closer to where my actual eye is um that's a trick you can do as well you guys if you like if you like me and you have trouble and the eyeshadow be everywhere so so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back in and i'm just gonna darken my eyeshadow a little bit on both eyes because like I said before y'all you really want it to pop like so now that we got that out the way we're gonna go take my another brush and just go in and just make sure everything doesn't look harsh if you get on if you get what i'm saying and the reason why i put tape on the end of my eye is because if you guys know when you're doing like glitter or eyeshadow or anything it gets all underneath your eyes and to me i really 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 hate that so i try to put tape down you know to kind of prevent it because ugh, it drives me crazy so now that we're done with my eyeshadow um this is the fun part a part that I actually love we're gonna go and we're going to let me see let me see let me see um, okay that's that okay we're gonna go into my cut crease and this part of my cut crease you guys I really like it to be really bold and big so trying to find my actual cut crease brush sorry so you guys know how my cut crease usually look it's gonna look different i can't never see i have so much stuff on my makeup table you guys i can never find nothing but you guys know how my make my cut crease normally looks like really flat and i try to go with how my eye my eye um is well today if you guys can see, um, this is how I actually did it in a video. So what I did is, you guys know how my eye bends up here. Like if I go like this, you can see that it bends. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm gonna put it just right on top of that. That's how I want my cut cut crease to look and I'm just gonna take all my concealer and drag it down and one thing about me you guys is I know you're like, what is she doing now? But you might not know now. But when I get to that point to actually show you, you will it will make more sense. Y'all, I have no idea why my boyfriend likes to keep the air on. But, like, I am freezing in here. So... The same for the front as well. We're going to go finish out. Finish out what I started. And 
And y'all already know, I do have a problem with my water line. Um, y'all already know, my tear duct is really, 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 really bad. So, you guys know that my eye does water. So, for this eye, I won't be bringing the concealer all the way down. I won't be doing that because that makes my eye water faster. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do my other cut crease. And I'll be back with you guys. So, hi guys. I am back. And this is what my cut crease looks like. So after this part, you guys, what I found so easier to the point where I won't get all glitter and everything all over my face and stuff. Shout out to my girl on YouTube, Makeup Shayla. If you guys watch her, she is the bomb, you guys. I try to do, you know, I take I take a lot of a lot of um her stuff that she does on her page and I, I just admire her so back to this tutorial so what I'm going to be taking is I'm going to be taking my uh, NK water resistant eyeliner that I got from the beauty spot store and basically y'all what I'm going to be doing is applying eyeliner to my eyes so this oh excuse me is very like I really like to pay attention to this because I really like a thick eyeliner. So I like to pay really close attention. And by now, you can pretty much just remove your tape. So, um,. Like I said, you guys, I really like my liner really thick. So with that being said, I'm going to take a little bit more and apply a little bit more right here to my line. And I like to bring it out like just a little bit. Um, I like to bring it out just a little bit. So that to me is easier so when i do go to put on my um my glitter it doesn't really you know give me much problem so i'm going to be doing the same thing to this eye so let's just go ahead and get into this eyeliner And yes, if you guys know, like, <laughs> I'm right-handed, so I pretty much do, like, everything with my right hand because I really can't, like, I don't think I could do much without it, so, yeah, I pretty much do everything with my right hand. My right hand is like my go-to when it comes to putting on liner, so. And I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to bring it out just like I did this one over here. So, now that I have my eyeliner down, I want to actually make it a little thicker. Because I really want my eyes to pop. So, 
so now that I have my eyeliner y'all this is the fun part for me um, I don't use any eyeshadow glue or like any base or nothing like that but I'm gonna go ahead and take my glitter that I got from the beauty supply store and I'm basically going to be applying that to my top lids as we speak. So, I will be back. Let me go ahead and do that. Now, you guys, I am back. I did my glitter, and I'm loving it. Um, So, I went off camera, and I applied my... Oh, dropped it. I applied my uh, color corrector, and I've already did my concealer and stuff. Y'all know I put on concealer and color corrector before I do my foundation. So, foundation, Balmify, I'm going to be using today. Oh, is my um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless. And I wear the color, sorry, 335. I'm going to be taking my, where is my brush for this? I'm going to be taking my found, foundation brush from Amazon. I don't know the exact company. But I'm going to be taking a little, like, droplet. It's all I really use, you guys, for my full face. So, I'm going to be taking that, just applying it to my face. And I don't like to go around and, like, like this, y'all. Sometimes I will, but I like to pat it into my face. Um, It don't look like it's my color until it dries. So, it's kind of like a really liquid at first, but once it dries and stuff, you will notice it's my color. So, I know y'all was like, what? You know what I'm saying? Why did she put on that foundation? It's not even her color or whatever. You guys, calm down. It's my color. I wouldn't put nothing on my face and be looking crazy so you guys can be like, what is Kayla doing? So, gonna go ahead and I don't know if you guys can see me because I'm kind of looking into my mirror as well. So, I need to add a little bit more for this side of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera back. I'm gonna add a little more to this side of my face because I don't really think, um, still have some spots where it's missing foundation so so like I said y'all when I filmed this when I first filmed this tutorial um I filmed it off camera at first just to see if it was worthy of filming of filming for you guys so when I put the little one clip video up of this tutorial, I wanted to see how many of y'all actually wanted to view me actually filming this. So I decided to go ahead and film the video for you guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys really like this makeup tutorial just as much as I I do because my like eyelids are giving me so much life right now. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer in the color 07 and also their concealer in the, in the color 08. So I'm going to be taking this underneath my eye. My um, underneath my cheeks where I highlight, um, my nose, underneath my nose, my chin, on my forehead, and over here underneath my eye. Like I said, you guys, I'm not no professional, as y'all want to call it, or whatever, but... Um, I've n never really went to school for cosmetology. I am doing that now. So, I really enjoy it. So, before I get into that, I'm going to be taking this, my Morphe concealer as well, and adding it into the concealer I just put on for my contour because it's super light and this is a little darker. So, I want to be taking my spr spriffle brush. Sorry, small spriddle. 
I don't know how you say this. Um, it's like I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna be taking my Elf brush. It's kind of like uh, a foreign language, so I don't know. But I'm gonna be taking my Elf brush, and basically, I know I've well, I've know some of you guys ask me in my DM, just like, why do you pat it? Because when you do like this, you only creating, you're making it look bad. So you want to pat it, just so you know it it will work out the way it is. You guys. I want to apologize for my term for my terms when I do makeup like the stuff I say if they don't make sense sometimes I want to apologize for that um I also want to apologize if you feel like this video videos I'm trying to film between right now and tomorrow for you guys so I want to go ahead and get out of the way so I'm gonna go ahead and do my forehead as well and with my forehead, like I said, you guys, I have a bonnet on because I'm in the process of actually getting my hair done. So with my forehead, I like to go in circles, really, to kind of um, darken up my forehead. So, yeah, but this is how everything looks up close, up personal. I'm going to go on my second cheek, and I'm just going to pet that in as well sometimes i might do this if i feel like it's necessary but you will not catch me doing it all the time so i'm going to be taking my back my uh black beauty blender from sephora and um basically i'm going to be go ahead and out my concealer underneath my eyes and underneath my chin area and you guys know me I like to use multiple concealers because like if I'm if I'm gonna do my makeup and I want to go all out I want it to look like I'm going all out so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and I want to really get up close for you guys to see and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out underneath here so one major problem I do have with my makeup is y'all already know my makeup lights to crease I don't know why but it does so one thing i really have to do like as soon as i do my concealer underneath my eyes is i have to set my eyes like really fast so i'm going to be taking my sasha buttercup and this is in banana i believe so i have to my nose um fast underneath my eyes because one thing my eyes like to do is they like to water in the water and they like to crease and I don't like that whatsoever I I hate it so one thing I do really fast is I like to go ahead and Basically, I'm going to be baking today because I kind of wanted to be baked. <laughs> My nose always runs through this part. So I'm going to be doing the same thing over here on this side of my eye. Just going to be setting my makeup. And the reason why I pat it like that, I pat it down. Like, I tap it because on your face. This is basically what it is. It's translucent powder. And like I told y'all, I don't really like to bake no more because I used to bake until I realized that sometimes on certain skin tones, baking can, like, baking can cause flashbacks. So, you guys, I don't bake anymore. I try not to. So, with that being said, um, I'm going to go back in 
with my Real Technique Buffing Brush. And I'm going to be taking my pressed powder, and this is from Bare Minerals in the color Earth Medium. And I'm just going to be taking this, and I'm going to be going back in to basically add some color to my face. Especially on my cheekbones, where technically they need color. So... And yes, y'all, I go in with this. I go all on my forehead, my eye, all on my, um, I don't, um, contour my nose because I don't really like how it makes my nose look, but I do go on the side of my nose and I go on my cheekbones and stuff like that. So y'all, this is how it looks, um. I really like it. Like I said, I'm going to fix where is my little concealer brush. You guys, my makeup table is so dirty. I literally, it's not dirty, but it's always so much stuff on it that I can never really find what I'm originally looking for. And it makes me, it drives me crazy because it's like, Ugh, like, jeez. So, what I like to do above my eyebrows, I like to take a little of my dark concealer. And I just like to put it on top of my brows because I don't like sometimes, like sometimes I, when I do do my eyebrows, the color of the um, eyebrow pencil or something I choose to use, it kind of like messes with me and stuff like that. So I just choose to go this route. The tinted color really bothers me. So, now that you guys were done with that, um, everything looks legit and looks good. I'm going to go with my lip liner. I'm going to be taking my lip liner from Clean Color Beauty Supply Store brand. And it is brown. I'm gonna be taking my lip lip liner and y'all uh, I'm really gonna be lining my lips this is really hard to do when you're talking to someone So, the reason why I brought my lip liner in a little bit is because I don't want a full lip of my matte concealer. Uh, not matte concealer. <laughs> my matte lipstick that I got from uh, ColourPop. And this is the this is the name She. And this is actually the Karuchi collab. So, I'm going to be taking this on my lip. Uh, I messed up. Mm. So that is that. For the lip, and I did mess up, so I'm going to go back in and fix that. So, now that that's that, you guys, uh, I'm not setting my face with this look. Because like I said, I have to take this right back off as soon as I 
upload this for you guys to film two more videos. I might not stress myself out like that and do it all in one day. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking, this is how everything looks, you guys. I'm going to be taking my LA Girls Concealer Jumbo Eyebrow Pencil. And I'm basically going to be putting this on my waterline. And I'm going to be back. I'm going to go off camera and do that. So stay So you guys, I'm back. And I did do my white eyeliner. And I also put on my lashes. If you guys can see. So the only thing left to do is the favorite part of the night. It's my highlighter. So you guys, I recently bought this highlighter from the beauty supply store. And this is my Ruby Kisses All Over Glow um highlighter powder in the color golden glow it was only $3.99 so if you guys like it as much as i do make sure to go cop it y'all i'm feeling this look like the first time i filmed this look it was over with it was over with i was sold and i loved it so let's go ahead and do my highlighter and it's a really pretty rose in the middle that's what i like so you already know. Go ahead and light this nose up. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my nose. And my forehead. I really don't put much on my forehead. But as far as like my highlighter. Y'all. I go in for the highlighter. Not necessarily because I don't want it to look like that too much. So sometimes I bring it down a notch. So I'm going to do the same thing with this side. So that is my highlight, you guys. And you guys, this is my final look make sure to like comment share and subscribe and really let me know how you really liked or disliked this video you guys i liked it because it's really pretty it's really creative um to me it's like the white eyeliner really brings up my eyes so anyways i really like it um let's fix fix this real quick before I even close out this video cause you know y'all some critics y'all will criticize the hell out of me so yeah you guys I really loved it um even though I know this video was really rushed like I said um I do have other stuff that I'm trying to film tonight so In a way, sorry, I had to fix that. In a way, this video was was a little rushed. But at the end of the day, came out really pretty, really, go really gorgeous. And remember to like, comment, share, and or subscribe. And I loved you guys so, 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 so. so. I used to talk way too much.